Why are teeth crooked? It's a simple question, but trust me, this takes you down one of the deepest rabbit holes in health science today. A rabbit hole every person and every parent needs to know about. And before anyone gets offended, don't shoot the messenger. I'm just here to say what the science says. This impacts your health, your children's health, and it challenges some deeply held assumptions especially in my own profession, which is doing all it can to stop me and this message. Here's something we can all agree on. Most modern humans don't have enough space in their mouths for all their teeth. Wisdom teeth often get yanked, and many kids need even more teeth removed just to fit braces. But guess what? Go back 1,000 years, and that wasn't the case. People had room, room for all their teeth, including wisdom teeth. That's not ancient fantasy, it's fact. Think about it like this. If my fingers didn't fit on my hand, you'd think something was wrong, right? So why do we accept that our teeth don't fit in our faces? We've seen a dramatic change in the shape of our skulls, and yes, it's because of how we live today. I know that this sounds wild. It may seem offensive, controversial, even judgmental, but it's not an opinion, it's science. Look at anyone who has had a stroke. Faces are moldable. You know I have a point. There's a massive rise in health problems connected to facial development. Crooked teeth, ENT or otolaryngology, issues, jaw joint pain, snoring, and sleep apnea. These problems were rare a few hundred years ago. Now they're everywhere and rising at an alarming rate. For example, when I graduated in 1993, sleep apnea wasn't even in the curriculum. Today, it's linked to cutting a decade off the lives of up to one in five adults in the Western world an epidemic of problems associated with our faces. This is not just a healthcare issue. It's a crisis, an epidemic literally under our noses. And still, there's no agreement within the professions about what's causing this. No real cure, just symptom management. Wearing dental retainers for life is not a cure. Let me put it simply. If your facial structure isn't the right shape, it can't function properly. A thousand years ago, most people had space for 32 teeth or more. Today, we're lucky if we can fit 28. We've gone from wide, healthy smiles to narrow jaws with not enough space. That's a huge physical change. One we can't just brush off as genetic. If you think that, you might as well believe the Earth revolves around a flat Earth or confuse TikTok with a scientific journal. But ironically, TikTok played a big role here. The mewing phenomena exploded, over 30 billion views, and yes, it made some professionals very uncomfortable. Clearly, it's got so many negative connotations, but when kids started questioning outdated assumptions about their own faces, something clicked. They cared about their looks, about their health, about taking control. And some of the transformations they achieved, incredible. Bigger airways, more balanced faces, more space for the teeth. Now look, I'm not saying modern orthodontics is all bad, and I certainly don't have all the answers. I don't hold out that my father's approach, bioblock orthotropics, holds all the answers, but it certainly deserves more research. Sadly, it's effectively been banned in the UK without fair review. Here's the real kicker. Orthodontics openly admits it doesn't know the root causes of crooked teeth and yet it treats half the population and avoids this discussion entirely. If our ancestors' faces didn't have these issues, maybe we shouldn't either. That means prevention could be possible with simple public health messages like breathe through your nose and eat with your lips together, sit and stand upright, eat tough, less processed foods. We're not asking for new research. We're asking to reanalyze the science we already have through honest, open, scientific discussion. 
because if we don't even understand the cause, how can we ever expect to find the cure? Our mission of this channel is to precipitate some form of scientific discussion on the cause of the problem, to continue the campaign to bring about this that I started in 2009 to persuade the General Dental Council in the United Kingdom to repeat the debate they held on exactly this subject in the 1920s. It's been a hundred years. It's time. The big problem is that prevention and treating the cause is not profitable. It's teaching, not treating. Who makes money, a liposurgeon or a dietitian? and who is making the real health benefit. This channel is acting as a resource, but we have mainly relied on volunteers and goodwill to create all these videos, so please understand this. We are massively underfunding, and we are critiquing one of the most well-resourced sections of healthcare. We rely on donations, volunteers, and income from the mewing app. We have received over £40,000 in donations, mostly in small amounts from people all around the world. I cannot thank you enough. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. But as ever, we desperately need more. Please see the GoFundMe link in the description below. We are putting together a team of volunteers and we need to build an army for change. Please see the volunteering link in the description below. Finally, a message from our sponsor. We know that teeth sit in a balance between the lips and the cheeks on the outside and the tongue on the inside. This is not in question. It is vital for everyone to improve this balance, to align your own teeth, to make orthodontic treatments faster and more effective, to minimize or prevent relapse after treatment, and possibly even to gain a total upswing in facial form or at least to prevent a downswing. We're saying little more than stand up straight and shut your mouth. These exercises have been shown to reduce the measurements of sleep apnea by 50% in adults and 62% in children. Many of you will struggle as you lack tongue space or already have too serious a problem. And the best and possibly only way for you to get the help that you deserve is to help us get the spotlight of modern medical research to focus on this area. Our mission is to start with the cause and work up, with the most immediate application being prevention. No kids should have malocclusion or any of the associated problems from for facial, facial development. Good facial bone structure is all of our birthright. Faces that grow well work well, and through simple public health messaging and cheap, simple habits, we believe that we can make a real difference. Support us directly through the GoFundMe link below or indirectly with you helping yourself with the Mewing app also linked below. Thank you very much.